so I was burping the line and burping the line and burping the line and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And now I know what's going on. So this is what used to be attached to this in a 90 degree angle going up as a vent. And we had to put this vent in here because we discovered that it was a high point in our pipe. So under the ground here is where the water line runs and there's a little bit of a hump here. And uh, so we had to vent it there because if you don't vent any high points in your pipe, even if they're below your um, gravity feed intake system, water will not flow. So what's happening now is because this got broken off, it is not high enough to serve as a vent pipe. So I have to fix that. All right, I'm fixing this now. Um, when it broke off, it broke off at a jagged orientation, you can see there. So we have to clean that up. So I'm gonna... What this pipe is for? Yeah, I, I told him the other day, I took a little bit of frustrated footage. Okay, <laughs> uh, turn the cutter over. And um, uh, so I'm cleaning out around it, and now I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna t I'm gonna cut it flat, or at least as flat as I can get it. I'd come back this way just a little bit more. Like, move the cutter. Like that? Yeah, uh, right in there. All right. These power tools, this, man. This is a. Uh... A Makita oh. pipe cutter See, typically and, works really great. This is just and old PVC problems. pipe. Yeah. Um, this is just a vent pipe, so it depends on how crazy you want to get with fixing it. I think we're gonna um, have to get kind of crazy because it was. What we might need to do is just go get a regular saw. Yeah. And cut it, and I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go grab a saw real quick, um, but. These Milwaukee pipe cutters are great. They cut up to two inch pipe. And uh, if you're gonna cut a lot of pipe, put in a lot of pipe, I suggest buying one. And like I said, that just brittle old, so it broke. Yeah. So we're gonna go grab a saw and we'll be back momentarily. If it gives us fits all the way back into the road here, we're gonna have to put a straight coupler on there and then extend that back out over here because the reason that I went this far is because this tree stump and tree kind of protect it. So I'm surprised that it got broken. I'm not totally sure how that happened. While William's grabbing the saw, I took my stick here that's gonna stick vertically out of the ground and I cut this piece off. So I'm gonna get started on putting our new coupler on here, primer first, and then I, uh, Came up with a better idea i just turned my stick around so that i have the cleaner end to work with and there's the saw it's not your standard looking saw saw but it's great so i know that it's busted back to there yeah so, so i'm gonna take it back to about here yeah try and cut it as straight as possible there you go yeah okay let's see It'd be helpful if i had the safety off yep So, a couple of things. Uh, give me that blade. I want to show them. We just used this is a, a metal blade. It's not real uh, abrasive. Not real. Uh, not going to cut real hard. Big shavings. The other thing, if uh, you take and put the pipe against it like this. That'll help the pipe from shaking or try and hold the pipe next time. It'll just help it cut. Yeah, I couldn't get it that far in because it would have put the blade in the dirt. That's fine. So that's why I had to hold it the way that I did. You can you can shove it in the dirt. Oh, you can? Yeah, these, these, bl these blades are expendable. Oh, disposable? Disposable. Oh, nothing's disposable in my world. Uh-huh. 
I use a crap at them. They're disposable. <laughs> All right. Buy them by the case. So now I'm going to put my elbow on. I've got it primered. Now I'm going to get into the glue. Some good Christie's, Christie's Red Hot. So I wanted to say something about these. We recently, more recently than we should have, started buying small cans instead of big cans for a couple different reasons. Number one, we were noticing that we weren't using it fast enough and it was becoming kind of gel-like. It was, it was going bad. Right, it was going bad. So even though in terms of cost per ounce, it's more expensive to do it this way, you actually use it <laughs> instead of wasting it. And then the other reason that we do that is because invariably, you will tip over your can of glue. And it's better to spill a small quantity and have your extra can at the ready, just in case, than to spill an entire large bottle and then be out of luck. So that's what we yeah. started doing. The last, one of the last jobs, I spilled about half a can of either primer or glue. I don't remember which. And the but brush came if off you're, of this one. The brush came off that one. If you're doing a big job, sure. Go buy yourself a big can. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're not doing a big job, just buy some little cans. Save yourself some headache. Well, this is on the verge. But like we say, it's a vent pipe, so it's okay. It's not going to be under pressure. Yeah, if it's under pressure, then, you got questions about it, just go buy a new one. Shove it on. You're not on there straight. No, I'm not. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're in business. That'll work. Okay, we have to give that. Now we gotta up. primer this one. Yep. Some wild grapevine. Anybody want some wild grapevine? Yeah. By the way, if you're looking at land and you want to know about if it has water on it, wild grape is a good indicator. They are thirsty, so they only take off when there is water to be had. There. Okay, is that branch going to be in our way when we put it's, that pipe You up? know what? It actually it moves. Oh, so, look at that. Because it's wild grape. So, um, Can we pull it back this way and maybe just rip it out of the way? I mean, if you want to. Or you can just push it back. Well, I, I didn't want nothing so necessarily so. pushing on it. Oh. All right, I'm going to primer the inside of the coupler as well. People sometimes suggest that I use primer when I don't need to. This way I know that I've done everything I can. So you can continue to think that and I will continue to do what I'm doing. <laughs> if you read the label on this Christie's Red Hot... <clears throat> It says only use primer if required by code. Otherwise, you don't have to, but it is a good idea. Yep, and it's cheap. You don't believe me? Read the label. <laughs> Maybe I'll just show you. <laughs> you want to see it? I don't feel like spending the time to find it. Right. Let them do their own research. Okay, so now back to the glue. Glue it up. Let's go. All right. Now, William may have to put down the phone in order to move this branch like we were talking about. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove it on and then tilt it up. Here we go. Get in position before you get too committed. Let's let out. You need to push it back in. All right. There we go. And hold. 
and oh, we're gonna we're gonna trim some of this, I think. Okay, yeah. so we cut the vine off. Um, you can use metal blades to cut wood; they don't work real well. I just didn't feel like running back and grabbing a metal blade. Uh, if you have pruning blades, those work great for wood. Chainsaws work even better. Um, but there is the vent pipe. Now we're going to go turn the spring back on, continue to fill our water tank. Burp in the line. Yep. We learned this last line. year when we turned everything back on to top off our water tanks and nothing was happening. I think she already burped it considering she thought she was recording <laughs> and then realized it didn't record a thing. Our water tank is there across the creek. That's the one that feeds the supply for the house. What we do is we pump it uphill. Um, we put a laser right about where Erica's got her foot or where that cover is and shot it across to the water tank and it's like five foot higher than the top of the water tank um, but that was just enough of a, an elevation difference that we have with a little rise in our pipe that we have to occasionally burp it when we shut the water off to the tank. It's also why we had to put the vent pipe in. in the yeah, that's pipe. the big reason why we put the vent pipe in. And that's why I'm grateful to have, you know, my mom, for example, who lived this way for a long time. And I was explaining to her, Mom, we're not getting any water. I don't understand. And she said, oh, you have a high point in your pipe. Put a vent in. And <laughs> it worked. Ah, Mama's right. It happens. Luckily, Erica's dad has a significant amount of spring development, too, so we have multiple people to ask. 